All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to the YouTube video. My name is John Hammond, and we are back looking at Over the Wire, the online war games. And now we're moving into the war game Natus, which is all about web application stuff, like web security. So I like this. Honestly, this is kind of my favorite uh, category. Um, this is what I'm really interested in, web application security, because I think that's more applicable to like real-world bug bounties and, and cool things like that. Um, so I really like a lot of these challenges. Um, and they start off pretty, pretty, not too bad. Um, and then they kind of ramp up to real cool stuff like blind SQL injection and cookie stealing, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, I want to show you how to roll through some of these, and I'm going to do it in a little bit of a different way where I actually um, create some get flag scripts, or uh, really just small containerized, uh, just individual standalone files or, or Python code that will be able to solve a level for us, or at least retrieve the password for the next level. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you'll notice here that um, passwords are stored in a file inside the file structure as we're used to in Leviathan and Bandit. Uh, we just go by the level uh, name, so Natus, and the, the level number that we're on, uh, 0, etc. And by default, it starts with Natus 0 uh, as the password, just like all the other um, all the other war games that we played. So we can copy and paste this URL in here and we'll use uh, Natus0 and Natus0 to authenticate. And we can view the kind of file that we're going to be presented with or the web page that's returned to us um, in our browser right here. It says you can find the password for the next level on this page. Obviously there's nothing really in the text here. I can use control A to select everything, but there's nothing there. So control U to view the source, or if you really wanted to, you could right click um, probably with your web browser and select view page source. It'll do the same thing. Uh, control U is just a hotkey that I typically use and see for it. Um, and we see this HTML comment right here that says the password for Natus 1 is this string. Okay, so super easy. Level 0 was not hard at all. Um, but let's get set up with actually rolling through this in, in Python and through a script. So I've got my command line ready for us. Um, again, I have this directory over the wire that has some of the folders for the other war games we've been doing between Bandit and Leviathan, but now let's make one dedicated to Natus. Um, and let's use Sublime Text, and I'll call this natus0.py. So I'm using Sublime Text, um, Sublime Text 2, and I'm using that because I wanted to use the build view plugin that's going to let me split the screen and actually view the output of my command, uh, the output of my script on a side by side, not a vertical build like Sublime normally does. So let's create a shebang line here to create a script for us. Um, I'm also using the dark neon theme. If you guys haven't heard of that, you can install it with the install package uh, command from the command palette in Sublime Text, Control Shift P to bring that up. If you don't have that uh, installed or set up, you can just um, build up that package with the uh, package controller if you Google that um, Sublime Text package control. Um, you have a package manager you can get to, and it shows you installation and stuff that you can just easily enter into the console in either Sublime Text 3 or Sublime Text 2. Again, I'm using Sublime Text 2 here, so I can use the package build view, um, which will build the output of my script in a separate tab. So that way I can split the window with can uh, shift, alt, and two, or the number of windows I want here, which is two. So now I have side by side um, the windows and my code and the build output uh, that I can move back and forth with and actually do stuff with in Sublime Text. So that's pretty handy. So I'm going to go ahead and interact with these web pages with the requests module in Python, um, which I don't have a tutorial series on, but I very, very much intend to because it's a better URL lib and can do really awesome stuff. If you don't have that installed, you should be able to just do a sudo pip um, install requests. And if you don't have pip installed, you can probably do a sudo apt-get install python tack pip. And it'll need your password and everything just like any sudo command would. So let's import requests. Let's import RE. I'm going to use the regular expressions module so I can quickly just grab out the password for the next level here. And let's create a variable for our username, Natus0. Uh, in this case, the password is going to be the same since this is just a unique case. Uh, but we want the URL to equal, let's get this build view out of here. 
handy that I can just kind of slide this to the side. Whoa! Clicking everything. All right. We can go ahead and copy and paste the URL here. And let's actually replace the username in here. So now we can use requests.get URL and that will return at HTTP get, that, that will actually do an HTTP get request to access the URL and we'll store it in a response variable. So if we wanted to see that, we can print it out and oh, we are getting a 401, which if we view the text of that to see that actual response here, that's because, oh, we didn't authenticate with it. We're getting that 401 here because we didn't supply the username and password. We can do that in the code here with auth equals and then username and password. Auth being the function keyword argument to the get request and just using a tuple for our username and password. Now when we run this, you can see we've returned the source code of the web page. So what I'm going to do up here now is just set the syntax to HTML. Again, I hit Control Shift P to tell Sublime Tech that that's what I wanted to do. And now we've got the like website source code, just that web page code, all the HTML, just like we viewed in our browser a moment ago, but now within Sublime Text. So we can copy and paste this out if we want to, or we can go ahead and just get our regular expressions module to parse through it. So I'm going to call this variable content, and then I'm going to print content, or re.findall, sorry. Find all being the regular expression that I, uh, function that I want to use. And I'm just going to copy this HTML string here so I can use kind of a cheap hack to scrape out only that password part using regular expressions here, uh, using the parentheses to say I want this item, this element, and I'm going to use a period and to denote any character, and I'm using asterisk to denote multiple of these multiple of these any characters, and then we'll pass in content here. I don't want caps lock on. Cool. So now when I run this, let's move our build output to the side here. You can see it returns an array of everything that it found, um, and let's use the uh, zero index here to just scrape that out. Nice and easy. Cool. So that's the password for level one. So we can save this as Natus zero, but now we can just go ahead and save another script, call this Natus one dot pi, change the username that we're working with, because we do, can move to the next level here, and let's paste in the password that we have. So now our script will automatically jump to where we were previously. Let's print out the content. What's the response we're getting here? And if we see here, again, HTML source code, the web page source code, and we just pretty much got past the next level because had we gone to this on our own over in the web browser, Natus1, Natus1, paste in the password here. It says, you can find the password for the next level on this page, but right-clicking has been blocked. Uh, it seems okay in my web browser. <laughs> Again, maybe maybe it's not in yours. Again, control U will get you to the source code and you can see it here. Um, but doing this through Python, doing this through code is still going to get us the same, re same result. We're just getting the response of the web page. So now we can just change our, our code here, have regular expressions parse out that HTML comment again, change it for Natus2, and we can not print the content, and we can just print out what we find here. We are getting the flag or the password for the next level right here. So now we can save this as Natus2, change the uh, username to the correct Natus2, and comment out this one, print the content that we're seeing again, and now we're into level three. Cool. All right, so we're set up, we're rolling. We've got some Python code that's letting us move through uh, the Natus levels that we would normally be able to interact with through the web, the web browser, but we can still do that if we really wanted to, um, but we're getting a little bit more in the weeds and creating some automated tools and scripts that will uh, do the really cool stuff for us and learning a little bit of Python and stuff like that and doing some cool magic in Sublime Text. Um, so we'll keep rolling with this in the next couple videos. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying these. Hope you guys like the quality video, uh, whatever it is, and really the personality that you got with, with this series. So uh, thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video, hopefully. Tune in next time.